Harry, welcome to Ipswich Town again. Before we get started on this interview, just want to show you something. Just watching that, talking us through it. Oh my god, what a throwback this was. What do you remember about that day? To be fair, I remember saying this, like, I didn't actually realise how good it was until, I mean, after, obviously, it went viral, but. Because I, th I think in the game, I won't really. All I was thinking about was scoring, to be honest. But I mean, some move, isn't it? Some finish as well, by the way. Still speaking some Yeah, yeah. He, I spoke to Hoosie earlier, actually. He obviously, assisted me then. Yeah. Um, so I speak to him and a few of the boys, uh, which is good. How does it feel now you're back here as a yeah, I'm, player? I'm home, aren't I? Um, no, it feels good. Um, it's been a long couple of days, um, stressful, but what a feeling to be back. Um, yeah. When it's all done, plenty of texts to send around. I was about to say, uh, yeah, I know. Obviously, I've already had obviously family and friends sort of inkling. Obviously, I know there's a bit going around at the minute, um, which obviously I can't say. But obviously, when things go out, it's going to be nice to you know be back home, which is obviously an added bonus. But you know, uh, yeah, it's good. The thing is, it has this connection, doesn't it? You, of course, know the area really well. Yep. You're Ipswich through and through, but ultimately, it's a, it's a transfer to a new club, and then the why Ipswich Town? I think there's a lot of reasons. I think obviously part of it was obviously coming home. I think the manager mentioned that I think in the club's history, there's only ever been two promotions. So I think to be in a homegrown player, my boyhood club, to come home and potentially get that third one is, and and maybe the fourth one, you know, um, was a big part of it, and also the trajectory of the club, you know, the new owners, the, the new manager and to be fair, the style of play has just been amazing this year. So to come and be part of that is uh, main main reasons. Speaking to the manager, what were those conversations like? I mean, a lot of lads that come in have said he's a yeah. big drawing factor. Yeah, 100 percent. I think um, after speaking to him a few times, I think that sort of swayed my decision. Obviously, it's a tough decision. Um, it is my home team, but obviously I'm leaving a club like Arsenal behind. Um, you know, after speaking to him, it's just you know solidified that decision, and I'm glad I made it. Why don't we jump back a little bit? And you're playing for Brantford, you're scouting for Brantford. <laughs> yeah. What was that feeling like? To be fair, when I was that young, I don't think you're really thinking about who you're playing for. I think back then I was just trying to score as many goals as possible. I was a striker back then, so uh, just trying to score as many goals as I can, no matter what shirt I was in. Um, come here, didn't get in. Um, but then I think a year later or maybe two years later, I was playing away at Norwich, broke my arm against that lot. And uh, in the hospital bed, my dad got a call and uh, Ipswich signed me up, which was nice. When did you make the switch back to defence then? It was, God, I think in the first six months I went to Arsenal, I played every single position. And then, you know, at some point in that year, I sort of solidified a, a role at centre half. And then it weren't until last year, ended up playing right back. So, yeah. You have briefly spoken about your time at Arsenal, admitted you know, it is a big decision to leave Arsenal yeah. as a massive football club. Yeah. How do you sum up your time there? Uh, nothing but good memories, to be honest. I think I, it hasn't really sunk in that I'm leaving yet. Um, but no, it was, it's been amazing, to be honest. Um, yeah. To be honest, all I can say, really. Otherwise, I'll get emotional, but yeah. Loan moves while, with, uh, while at Emirates Stadium. Um, talk to us about what you maybe learned a little bit on those, and then two of them yeah. north of the border. Yeah, I think uh, my Oldham, my time at Oldham was was more, you know, that first sort. Of, I know, I'm dropping to League Two. Um, I think it was more getting game time rather than trying to put in like big performances. Um, you know, being in a man's game. I was only young, 18, 19. Then obviously went up to Ross County, which is you know right up, you know, up near John O'Groats sort of thing. Um, so that was a, uh, but that was amazing, absolutely amazing. One of the best, best experiences I've had. Um, and then obviously moved to Hibs. Obviously got injured at the start, which is disappointing. But um, hit the ground running after and played in some massive games. Played in the semi-final at Hampden Park against Hearts. Played in another Edinburgh derby at Tyne Castle. So they were amazing experiences. And then obviously Stoke come around and ended up playing 20 games in the in the championship. So. You know, they've been amazing experiences. Yeah, on that move this season, how beneficial can that be, that championship yeah. experience and you get about 20 games? Yeah, yeah, no, like you say, it's been amazing experiences. Obviously, I think I've coped with the level well. Obviously, I haven't started as many games as I, want, I wished, but 
you know that uh, that obviously come down to injury and team selection and everything. But um, yeah, no, it was absolutely amazing, and hopefully we're we're there next year and we can uh, we can prove ourselves at that level. I was going to say because you know players make a move to, to drop at a level, but yeah, it sounds very clear that you've got one arm getting yeah, there immediately. Yeah, I think obviously there is that element of risk coming down the league, but I don't see this club being here long. It doesn't. The club like this doesn't does not deserve to be in League One. It deserves to be Championship or even the one step above. Um, and that's my main aim this year, if not next year. But you know, I want it done in the next, you know, four or five months. This must be a feeling of, of pride for you. How are your family going to take this news? Of course, local to the area. Yeah. Well? No, I think they're excited. Um, I think obviously selfishly they're they're ha happy to have me back as well. Obviously, I've been away for a few years, but. Um, you know, I think it's a good a good step in my career, and obviously to be back home. And you know, I, my family were at the Plymouth game uh, the other weekend, so they said the atmosphere was absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to step out there on a Tuesday night, hopefully. What's going to be going through your head when you're walking, uh, walking out that tunnel? A lot, to be honest. I think I'll be an, I'm emotional, I reckon, but uh, no, it'll be amazing. For those that might be seeing you in. A Nipsey shirt for the first time. I don't know about your previous connection. What yeah. can they expect from the Harry Clark performance? They can expect absolute passion. Obviously, that's a given without being at Ipswich. Obviously, no matter what club I'm at, it'll be passion. I'll give everything on the pitch. Um, but that should be a given. Um, I'm good on the ball. I'm quick. I'm powerful. Um, good at defending. And I'll, I'll get the odd goal as well. So. One word for your, your aims this season. Promotion.